there is a straight line intercept the circle at two points. Uh, pay attention that there is a k which is the unknown. It's different from the previous question that we have all the values of the coefficients or constant. But now parts of it is unknown. But in reverse, they give you the results directly. There are two points of intersection, which imply that if you substitute how many x squared plus how many x plus how many equals zero. And in this process, since they tell you that they are two points of intersection, that means the delta should larger than zero. And it gives you some constraint for k. That's why we can solve the range of value of k. That's what we are going to do. So therefore, again, they are talking about the point of intersection. So we are talking about simultaneous equation. We have the simultaneous equation 3x minus y plus 1 equal to 0. x squared plus y squared minus 12 x plus 2 y plus k equal to 0. From the first equation, we know that 3x plus 1 is equal to y. That means we make y be the subject. Then, from the circle, we're going to replace y, prepare bracket, and then substitute what inside. And now, because you are handling uh, equations with lots of terms, so you better separate to different rows. x squared, and then the next term, we use identity, a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. That means 9x squared plus 6x plus 1 in this case. After that, we have minus 12x, and then I arrange it vertically downward of x term. We have positive 6x. So again, positive 6x here. 2 times 1, plus 2. And finally, we have plus k, which is constant. So I write in this column, plus k. We continue our calculation. We get 10x squared. And then plus k plus 3 equal to 0. If I need to identify A, B, C, then I better rearrange them and strictly follow this format. That means how many x squared plus how many x plus how many equal to 0. How many x squared is 10. How many x, we don't find x term here, that means 0. How many constant is k plus 3, two things together. In short, that means A, B, C is these values. Then we go to the next stage. The second stage is using the fact that there are two different points of interception. We know the delta of this quadratic equation should be larger than zero. There should be two different real roots. Since two different points, therefore we know that delta is larger than zero. In this case, b squared minus 4ac. b is zero, a is 10, c is k plus 3 larger than zero. That means negative 40 times of this bracket is larger than zero. I don't want negative 40, so I both sides divided by negative 40. Zero divided by negative 40. But it's because I divide both sides by negative, it's trigger a change in the direction of the inequality. Therefore, k plus 3 is smaller than zero. That means k is smaller than negative 3. In this question, we just use the given information and then we uh, think about the implication behind and then it gives us the relation related to k, then we solve it. That's simple. 